Step outside onto any city street and you're likely to see people hooked up to a personal audio device. Every day, more and more people are using them. But have you ever wondered about the impact these music players have on your hearing? Experts at Mayo Clinic want to make sure you know where to set the volume so you can avoid any hearing damage. They're everywhere. Personal audio devices. Millions are plugged in. But can they hurt your hearing? There certainly are levels that are safe for long periods of time, but uh, that can quickly change as the level goes up. Mayo Clinic audiologist Lindsay Wagner tests personal audio device volume levels in her office so people can be sure the levels are safe. Might tickle a little bit here. Dr. Wagner is concerned about two things, how loud the volume is. It's pretty loud. And how long you listen at that level. 50% on that volume will you can wear safely all day long if you wanted to, but if you go up to, let's say, 60 or 70 percent on your volume wheel, depending on the system that you're using, maybe you'd only be able to wear that safely for four hours. That's because as volume levels go up, the amount of time you should wear the device goes down dramatically. This reading shows an average volume of 97 decibels. I see that she can wear that for only about 30 minutes before uh, putting her hearing at risk. What happens to your ears is this. Music goes in through the eardrum to the middle ear bones and then to the inner ear, which is lined with tiny hair cells. Loud music can damage those hair cells, causing hearing loss. So if your ears hurt or ring, your hearing is at risk. The damage could be temporary, but if you listen to loud levels for too long, the damage could be permanent. In most cases, it won't make you go completely deaf. But it could make some voices and sounds hard to hear. The bottom line, be aware of how loud your volume setting is. And if you're concerned, see an audiologist to help you set safe levels. Be careful in places like the gym where there's a lot of background noise. If you crank it to drown out that noise, you could be setting it to levels that are dangerous to your hearing. Lindsay Wagner says personal audio devices are safe as long as you set the levels correctly. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.